I want to create a YouTube thumbnail generator. Okay, hold it right there. What you're going to see in this video is the whole development process. We're going to look into the research, the coding, up until building the front end, designing the front end. You're going to see a true behind the scenes look. I really hope you enjoy. And now let's continue watching. Think of a website where you pull in the title of your video, you click one button and then BAM! You have the perfect thumbnail for your next video. The problem is, I have no idea how to do it. Okay, but before I'll do anything else, I should make myself some coffee. There's no way around it. I have to do some research first. Okay. I think I'm switching my idea. I think it's possible to build a YouTube title generator. I'm not sure that machine learning is the right way to do it. Maybe some machine learning elements, but creating a network that generates images. That sounds really tough. And I'm thinking about doing the completely opposite. So not a YouTube thumbnail generator, but a YouTube title generator from thumbnails. So the great thing is Google already has a lot of offerings when it comes to detecting objects and images and so on. I'm thinking of combining different products of the Google Cloud service. Here, for example, we have the object detection. And if the user uploads their thumbnail, our service could detect, oh, there's a door, there's a bicycle, and that could end up being in the title. They also offer label detection. In this image, for example, the model detects a street, label snapshot, town, night, LA, a lot of good information we can use to put in the title of the video. What Google is offering here are a lot of pre-trained models we can use, which saves us a lot of time. So we have successfully made our first API call. We are using this test image I downloaded. We have some pancakes, some strawberries. And if we open our application, bam, we get the following. Here we can see food, strawberries, strawberries, breakfast, dish, cuisine, and so on. We're getting the label from the pre-trained model of the cloud. That's a great start. Okay, okay. Those are just some keywords, not a title. How can we generate a proper title? I would like to use a transformer model. Those models are used for various language tasks and are very good at auto-completing sentences. There's a really cool website called Write with Transformer that does exactly that. It auto-completes your sentences. The thing with these websites, Talk to Transformer, Write with Transformer is, they're great. They're really great, don't get me wrong, but it's not like they have a public API I can just send my stuff to and it's all done. And Google doesn't have a service like that. Um, I can't. Wait, okay, maybe there is a way. So this Write with Transformer thing, it's a website and I'm pretty sure the model isn't downloaded locally. So all the calculation has to happen somewhere else, probably somewhere in the cloud, some server. So this means, I'm pretty sure, the website has to communicate with the server somehow, probably by using HTTP requests. And the thing is, we can listen for those HTTP requests. Which means if our application sends the same HTTP request at this server, we can maybe use their stuff. Okay, <laughs> if it works, this is not the kind of thing you do in a production application. 
that's probably illegal, but for now, just as a prototype, this should do it. <laughs> so we're at write with transformer. And what is happening if you write a sentence and then press tab, you see the auto-completed sentences, bam. What is great about Chrome, it has many tabs and one of those is the network tab. And you can press record and every time you press tab, you can see HTTP requests going out and we can have a close look at them. We can see the URL they're sent to and we can see the payload. You can see here is the sentence. Okay, yeah, it seems to be working. Again, this is not a production application. Don't ever, ever, ever do this in production. We are using their server. Of course, I'm just sending a few requests. I would do that anyway if I'm using the application like it's intended, so I wouldn't think it's a big deal. But if I would put it out on a separate website, I could maybe, if I send way too many requests, I could overload their server like a DDoS attack. That would really suck. So I won't put this application online. Or if I ever put this application online, I will find my own solution because I don't want to mess up anything of their stuff. Right now I'm getting really tired, but I haven't made a lot of progress. Okay, so check this out. We're still using the same test image we have before, which are those pancakes and with strawberries and chocolate. So let me start up the whole thing. Bam. Okay, now the titles are getting generated. It takes a bit because it has to connect with the Google service. So, what do we have here? The best pancake are made even in the USA. Foods. The ultimate guide to foods. How to eat. How to be rich. <laughs> Fruit and pancake. A simple recipe for eating chocolate. <laughs> this week, okay, yeah. Some of them obviously don't make sense, but uh, that's fine. The world of food. What the world needs. How to make sweet and sweet pancakes from the best of a New York City vegan. I'm the best the best vegan pancake. That's a great title. Yeah, so you can see um, it is generating a lot of titles that are quite nice. This is now the next morning. It was quite a long night. The progress was very good though. Um, I think I have to do some explaining about what the progress is right now and how the application is structured. Um, I think I'll make an animated explainer bit right here. We're gonna take our nice little pancake image and send it to the Google Cloud service. From there we are receiving several tags generated from the model. We're gonna take the top three tags and plug them into the following sentence. This sentence will be sent to the autocomplete model and ta-da, we get our titles. So the next thing of course is to test it out with a lot more pictures and I want to build a front end that is easy to use. So you can just drag your picture in and then the titles get generated. Um, oh, that should be so much fun. I'm, I'm quite excited now. And I hope you are too. Next week, I'm gonna release part two of the video. Stay subscribed, a lot more fun stuff will happen. And I try to release the website next week so you can try it out on your own. If you have any suggestions on new features of the website or pictures I should try to plug into the system, let me know in the comments. This video took a long time to make. Right now, I'm not able to play any ads on my videos. If you would still like to support me, please subscribe and please support me on Patreon. Thank you and stay tuned for next week.